Hello and welcome to Rotted Review of the Day, and I kind of wanted to take a minute here to just pause. I just finished recording my review of the movie Bloodline with Sean William Scott, and while I was doing that, I got a comment on my review of Hell House LLC 3 Lake of Fire from Eli Mack that uh, he brought up some points that honestly I had already been thinking of, and it got me thinking about them further, and um, some things about this channel that... um, I don't know, I've had kind of rattling around in my brain for a little bit now, as well as, you know, horror movies in general. I don't have a script written, um, so I'm just going to kind of word vomit ultimately what's been on my brain to try and just kind of get it out there and see what the community thinks. Um, <clears throat> but uh, here's the deal. Um, he was Eli Mack said that, uh, you know, he, he sees me grinding and churning out videos daily and that I should be blowing up and or at the very least, uh, you know, have more subscribers than I do, uh, generally. And that, uh, you know, there's aspects of my videos that are holding me back, notably like the titles and thumbnails and so on, and that I'm not optimized for YouTube analytics and recommended videos, which I will give full credit to. I, I started this channel with a bit of, a uh, an idea of what I wanted to do and, um, but I'm by no means an expert. This is my first foray into YouTube and, um, <clears throat> to say that I knew what I was doing is absolutely false. <laughs> I, I, I actually just, you know, I reviewed the I two recently and I went back and watched my review of the I, which was about a year ago. And when I first was getting started and, oh my Lord, the difference that it's, you know, been over the last year of just kind of, um, <clears throat> you know, my comfort level in front of the camera and, um, you know, the quality of the reviews themselves has been improved significantly. It's one of those things where apparently practice, you know, does help. Um, but still when I first started, I had kind of an idea as far as like the thumbnails go and the titles go and so on of having it, uh, uniform and clean. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't really want what everybody else was doing, you know, as far as like horror channels go, I didn't want you know, lettering and titles that was just, you know, like the green letters with the bloopy, goopy thing that everybody seems to do. Um, you know, I didn't want, uh, you know, every single thumbnail to be, you know, my face with a reaction shot, you know, like, um, so I just wanted it to be about the movies and about, you know, uh, I, like I said, a uniform aesthetic. So I kind of tailored it to that. And, um, you know, I still have, you know, what I want to do. Um, but I am also willing to, you know, I'm, I'm malleable. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've always been malleable, you know, um, about a little under a year ago, I changed my branding logos and, you know, incorporated new lettering styles and I really like them. Those are, uh, something that I really don't want to change, but, um, you know, as far as the rotted, uh, logo goes, but, um, the, the rest of it, I am malleable, you know, my camera has, you know, changed my, uh, overall look and aesthetic and the tone of the, of the reviews have changed. And, you know, I, I try to always be in a situation of, uh, you know, improvement. Um, so at the same time, um, I also really don't have time to do a full like retool while maintaining these reviews. So I'm kind of in a, you know, stuck in a weird place here. Um, you know, this is like peak season for horror movies, but, um, you know, I, I, I never been shy about, you know, when I say that, you know, in my discussion videos, you know, I have a full-time job, um, that's not reviewing horror movies. So, you know, I, I make, you know, very little, if any money at this and, um, including the amount of time, even though I've, I've really streamlined the process, I've gotten very good at streamlining the process of doing these reviews. I have, you know, Photoshop templates and Adobe Premiere templates for making my thumbnails and making my reviews, uh, that make it a lot easier. But even so, including the amount of time it takes to watch a movie and meditate on it and really think about it, because I don't want to just, you know, go in front of the camera and say, you know, it's good or it's bad. I want to be able to dive further into that. Well, this is the problem with a you know, particular story structure, or this is how, you know, two of the characters could have slightly changed, you know, how they approach things and, you know, really dissect things to figure out why things worked or why things didn't. Um, and, uh, so including all, you know, all that time to think about things and then write my notes and then record and then edit and then upload, it takes me anywhere between three and four hours per review. 
on a good day. Um, and so, you know, let's be generous and say four hours and then I have an eight hour full-time job and then the commute and then my home life. Uh, you know, I, I'm not really kind of your traditional, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm engaged, uh, but I'm also not your traditional, what you would think of as kind of, uh, you know, the hands-off fiance kind of thing. I, you know, I make almost every single dinner we have here at the house. I get home from work. I, you know, clean up the kitchen. I make dinner. Uh, so I, you know, I have precious little time as far as extra time goes and that, you know, and now I have the new house. So there's additional chores on top of that, you know, lawn work, all that. Um, so, I mean, you know, just long story short, I don't have the time to continue making videos while also going back and retooling things. And if I were to make a major change in terms of thumbnails and descriptions and titles and so forth, they would have to be a retroactive thing. Um, I would have to go back and, uh, you know, I wouldn't re-record reviews, although I have thought of doing like redux, you know, going back to old reviews and rehashing them, uh, with the more comfortable camera approach as well as, you know, uh, the new formatting, you know, I mean like my first, geez, I don't know, 25, 30 reviews were five categories, including fear quotient. And I, I changed that. Um, so I, I don't know, I've been thinking about reduxing, but you know, regardless going back and revisiting those old reviews to at least change titles, thumbnails, and descriptions to maybe match YouTube analytics better is something that I can't do while also making new reviews, uh, which I'm fine with. You know, I've, I've paused the reviews during stressful moments of my life before, and you know, I don't mind doing that again. But it's something that I at least wanted to bring out there, put out into the world and discuss with the community. You know, Eli Mack has his thoughts on things and I want to know, uh, you know, what your thoughts are on things, if that's something that you think I should do. And if so, specifically how, um, you know, I, like I said, I am not an expert on YouTube and it's analytics and it's the way it recommends videos. Um, I've always thought of my channel as archival that if, uh, you know, that, a, a new video isn't going to bring in, you know, thousands and thousands of views. Um, but that, uh, you know, perhaps some way down the future that, uh, you know, if somebody wanted to look up, uh, you know, they see in their Netflix queue phantasm two, they wanted to see what a rotted review of it was. So, um, it's not meant to be bleeding edge. It's meant to be an archival source for folks that seem to value my opinion, which if you do, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I say in my reviews and it, I, I mean it, it does mean a lot to me when I get, you know, interest and feedback. And, you know, even if you don't agree with me, I think that's perfectly fine. I actually enjoy that, especially if it's constructive and you can tell me, you know, just more than you stink. And, you know, like, well, why, <laughs> how did you disagree with me? What, uh, what aspect of this film did you like that I didn't? Things like that. Um, you know, I like that sense of community and I've gotten a few community members that are actively engaged and I am very, very grateful for them. Um, <clears throat> so, um, the question comes, I mean, do I want to be more successful? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I've been doing this for a little over a year now and I know that it takes time and it takes patience and I've shown time and I've shown patience and I'll continue to do so. You know, the question isn't whether or not I will continue doing these reviews, whether this channel will continue to survive. I absolutely will. I really love doing this. I love horror movies. I love thinking about them. I love hashing them out and I love discussing them. So, I mean, it's a natural fit and people do seem to enjoy my opinion overall. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing these, but would I like to be more successful? Would I like to get more views, more subscribers, more hits? Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't pretend that this is ever going to be a full-time job. I don't pretend I'm going to get sponsorship. I just kind of, you know, as far as financial support goes, uh, you know, I'm not a greedy man. I make a modest living and I live in a modest fashion and I'm fine with that. You know, I'm never going to have one of those YouTube videos where I make, you know, a $12,000 meal by buying the best steaks and see how, you know, how it shakes out. I, I, I see those videos on trending all the time and I don't know, I don't get it. It's just, I don't, it's not for me. It's not who I am. For those that do want to support me, I do have a Patreon page. Uh, and again, I'm not greedy. I don't have tiers and exclusive videos and so on and so forth. I don't have all sorts of membership stats. I just have 
If you want to support me, here's one tier of a buck a month. That's it. Um, so what I would like to get more subscribers, more people interested, more people watching, more people discussing, more people possibly donating. Yeah, I, I mean, who wouldn't? That'd be great. But make no mistake, I'm going to continue doing this regardless. Um, so I don't know. I need to think about this. I need to think about, you know, if I'm going to be changing all of the thumbnails, how would I go about doing that? Uh, Eli says that I have too much going on in the thumbnails. Um, well, I guess please expand on that. You know, if, if you agree, um, if you want to see a different aesthetic style, if you see things that perhaps I could be changing or doing things better, um, you know, I, I'm trying to find that balance between, you know, hitting those YouTube analytics, hitting those, you know, possibilities for getting my videos out there more, because I do see people with review channels that, you know, have a hundred thousand subscribers and I look at their videos and they're good. Um, there's a certain level of modesty prevent that prevents me from saying that mine are on par or better. Um, but I still think that I, there's an audience out there for this that I'm not reaching. That's actually about the best way I can put it now that I'm like word vomit. There's an audience out there that I want to reach that I think would enjoy these that I'm not reaching and I am struggling with how to find them. So if you have ideas on, uh, you know, solid methods of YouTube analytic hitting while also allowing me to maintain a sense of aesthetic uniform style that meets what I want to be putting out there. Um, I would love to hear from you. I really want to get, I know I say this in a lot of the discussion videos, but I really, really want to get a dialogue engaged here. I want to hear from you. If you have ideas on ways that I can reshape this channel, both in future videos, as well as if we're just talking thumbnails, titles, and descriptions, I can go back and change those for all the previous videos I've done with the notion of if I decide to go that route, that you can expect that while I'm working on that, I'm also not putting out new reviews. Again, time is finite and I have precious little of it as far as free time goes. Um, but, you know, I mean, even though we're coming up on the season, you know, Halloween is fast approaching. Um, you know, I don't mind pausing these. I don't mind, you know, putting a little bit of a, you know, time to stop, rethink, retool and revisit. That's fine. And then come back even stronger. So, um, you know, I guess that's something that I'm just kind of thinking about. And if you have anything to weigh in on that, I'd love to hear it. Eli, if you have things that you want to expand on. As far as very uh, detailed specifics, I would love to hear them. But I think that should about wrap this one up. Uh, that's ultimately a lot of what's been on my brain. Not everything, but a lot. Um, suffice it to say that in one form or another, I am absolutely going to continue doing these reviews. I love it. And I'm grateful for the small community that I have. If it never grows, I'm okay with a lot of love from a few people. So... <laughs> Um, uh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's time to get to editing for bloodline and, uh, you know, maybe I'll release that today or tomorrow. So thank you again.